In this video we're going to be installing Drupal with Composer and Docker. We're going to be using Drupal Composer to set up Drupal with the help of Composer. We'll clone the project of Docker for Drupal, we'll nudge Docker Composer file a bit to fit our needs and we'll build our containers. In the end we'll install Drupal. So we are starting but keep in mind that I will not cover installing Composer and installing Docker. I'll put links to some guides. So let's go to our web browser and let's search for Drupal Composer. I'll put a link to this project also. And what we have to do is we have to open, it's, it's a Git repository by Webflow and we'd actually have to use this bit here to create a new Drupal Composer project. So we open our terminal and let's go to our... If you have sites folder, just jump to the sites folder and let's check it. It's actually saying Composer create project. Uh, this is Drupal Composer uh, we're going to be installing the latest 8 dev version. Uh, we're going to change this bit here to a folder that we would call Drupal Dandy and we'll hit enter. That's great. So basically under Drupal Dandy, we have a version of the Drupal Composer project. What we want to do now is we want to also copy or clone actually the Docker for Drupal project. So let's go ahead and search for Docker for Drupal. And I'll actually put a link to this project and let's go ahead and clone the project. We're going to copy the SSH here and we're going to do a git clone this to Drupal Docker server. And what we want to do now is we want to remove the dot from from Drupal Docker server. We're going to remove the dot git folder. That's fine. Removing. And what we want to do now is we want to copy all the content of Dru Drupal Docker server into our Drupal Dandy site. And we'll do that recursively. And wonderful. So currently now in Drupal Dandy, we have both the contents of our Docker Drupal, Docker for Drupal and Composer Drupal setup. So let us see it in Finder. If you go to Sites and if you go to Drupal Dandy, there we go. We have the actual files that are coming from the two projects here so that it's it's a nice setup where you would have the Drupal code base and you would have your server setup so let's open it inside of our favorite text editor I like sublime 
and let's first go ahead and start docker we make sure we start docker and for our server that is coming from the docker for drupal we'd like to check the docker compose yaml in our docker compose file we are actually able to use directly a drupal image or a php image i like more the idea of a php image and we can comment that out and the next thing we want to do is we want to edit a bit the volumes here we would like to say this folder starting from this folder uh, it's important to to know here that the database host is MariaDB we'll see that uh, as we're installing Drupal but basically we're using here in this setup Nginx and for the Nginx uh, volumes we would use the same and Drupal docker localhost that's uh, important for later how we would access our installed web website actually the mail hook we would not need we can just go ahead and comment out the bits that we don't need and in the end here I like to put the ports to 888 let's go ahead and save it so let's open another terminal window and uh, let's make sure that we are in the uh, Drupal dandy folder and here we can do uh, docker compose and up and we'll run it as a daemon in the background and now docker compose is building our containers yes as we now type docker ps we see that there are several containers that are built for us from the Drupal for Docker and we have an Nginx, PHP and several more containers. What we want to do now is we actually want to open our web browser and go to drupal.docker.localhost and the port we chose that's great the tricky part here is actually that as we as we set up our docker compose docker compose is expecting to have a web folder and our current folder starts from here as we changed it and this bit here overlaps and it expects to have a web folder directly in our code base and we have a web folder with the Drupal code base from the Drupal composer project so the structure is exactly as docker compose expects it so that's why we have directly here the Drupal uh, installation screen. So let's go ahead and install Drupal quickly. So here it's a bit tricky for database name as we know from the Docker Compose, uh, the bit I showed you we have a database user we have a password and database name and the three of those are Drupal 
just the database host is MariaDB. So in order to implement it, we'd have to click on advance and just for host, we would type the MariaDB and for the others, we just type Drupal. So let's now configure the site. Drupal Dendy. Drupal at d.com. Username the admin the the admin again the admin and. And there we go. We have a Drupal web page installed on top of Docker containers with the help of the Drupal Composer setup. If you like this video, please give it thumbs up, subscribe and check the links in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thank you.